How you doing guys, this is Slavic Telly. Um, how's everybody doing? We'll start with a negative note and then we'll go to your questions. Uh, basically I posted this uh, video. Um, a lot of you uh, didn't have enough time to watch the two part videos, you know, because you guys are at work or just simply don't have enough time. So I made you guys a, like a one minute video, so enjoy. Uh, but we'll start on a negative note. Uh, there have been three occasions where my subscribers or fans no notified me that my videos have been posted on a different YouTube channel. So somebody been taking my videos, copying them, and posting them on their channel, YouTube channel, and they had one channel had like almost 160,000 views on one of the knives. Anyway. Um, on two occasions I contacted those uh, YouTubers and argued with them a little bit but they deleted my videos but the hands made I believe it's hands made uh, videos uh, didn't want to delete the videos so I contacted Google and no, uh, basically on a copyright issue and uh, Google took care of it so uh, they took them down so that their channel does not exist anymore. I don't think it's a right thing to do. Um, I do give you permission to post maybe a two minute video, like a trailer or some, and then you could put a link where they could find a full video, you know, to watch. But please do not uh, steal my work that I put in and post it on your YouTube channel, acting like you made that knife. But anyway, so now I'm going to answer your questions that uh, you asked me. First question, uh, how long did it take me to make the knife? Uh, it took me two months to make it, to finish it, to edit the videos and post it. Uh, it took me that long because uh, right now I'm working about two hours away, hour and a half to two and a half hours depends on uh, each day, but I work too far from home so by the time I come home it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening and I leave my house at 4 in the morning, 4.30. So I do not have that much time. So when the sun goes down I can't make videos. Uh, so I, that's why it took me that long. Um, so this next question. Some of you were a little bit upset that I didn't post a video how sharp the Bowie knife is. So, I'm showing you how sharp it is by cutting paper and also uh, trimming the hair off my arm. Um, some of you ask me, what type of handles do I use for the knife? Uh, what type of steel is it? How thick is the steel? Guys, look up below the video. In the description, I post everything. What type of music? What what music was that? Except Karambit video, I I do not remember what music videos. I, I mean, music I posted under the my videos, but every other video, look below. Everything is listed, so you'll find it there. Where can I find the sketches of uh, of, of your knives? Look below the video. In the description there's a, my uh, Google Plus link. Click on it, it'll take you to a page where you'll find all the knives and you'll find all the sketches there too. Some of you asked me to make a knife that already I already made. So basically uh, click on Slavic Telly, 
and it'll take then click on videos and it'll show you all the knives that I have made so then some of you asked me to make a regular bayonet uh, I already made an M9 bayonet so it looks almost identical to a regular bayonet so I don't want to repeat myself I want to challenge myself by making other style knives and I'm not gonna repeat my knives again why do I make two-part videos because some people don't have enough time to uh, watch the videos and they watch the first part and then they don't have the time to watch the second part because they're at work or they got home they're tired uh, so I tried to split it up into two parts so later on they could go back and watch the second part um, as you saw I purchased a belt grinder and I'm not good at it yet so it takes practice skill but basically it replace the grinder let's put it that way so I trim off what I can it's a little bit faster than a grinder so I trim off what I can with a belt sander and then I finish off the whole knife with the files and I do the bevels everything with the file jig so you guys could see that the whole knife was made by using files uh, some of you ask me can you make a flip knife or a butterfly knife that would make me happy well it would make me happy too if I had a milling machine I would make a flip knife but I don't have one and making flip knives it requires a lot of precision so I don't want to make a knife without a milling machine so uh, butterfly knife as I said before at this point what I found out it is illegal to have a butterfly knife but some of my fans are telling me that it's not illegal I have talked to one officer police officer and he told me it is illegal to have it in the state of California I asked him the second question is it legal for me to make it and post it on YouTube channel I'm not gonna bring the knife outside and play with it I'm just gonna make it specifically for the video he wasn't sure about it so but from what I hear my, from the fans from my YouTube fans you could own one but you cannot carry it outside so I'll still look into it and uh, I do want to make one so just to let you know it is basically on the list of knives to make um, what knives do I have basically all these knives that I'm gonna show you right now I purchased them prior to becoming a knife maker so this is a Kershaw it's a 1600 it's a little knife I carry this one whenever I go out and uh, I'm dressed in casual pants uh, shirt so it's a little knife so I just put it in my pocket it's with me all the time this is a Kershaw 3410 or 3410 I carry this one with me to work it's with me all the time. It's a, I beat on it. It's it's dirty, but I use it a lot. My wife purchased me this one when I used to be law enforcement. It's a TDI K Kabar or K Bar TDI, and I believe it is uh, 1481 serrated because it has a serrated teeth. I believe a 1480 is the non serrated. So it's, it's a little knife, kind of karambit style. Uh, by the way, this one uh, I believe was $45. This one, um, the Kershaw 3410, you could get it on Amazon for $21. And the uh, Kershaw 1600, you could get it on Amazon for, um, what is it, $35, yeah. So it's a baby, baby knife, you know. And my last knife that I have, I bought before I became a knife maker, is a, a Falkneven A1. 
This knife is a beast. Uh, it is VG10 steel. Basically it is a multi-layered steel, kind of like Damascus. But check out the video, destruction video of this knife. And uh, you will be surprised to see what this knife can go through. The torture test basically. I believe the guy took a 1 8 thick steel, used the mallet and just cut through it with this knife. So, um, at this moment all my knives are sold. I know some of you are asking if you could uh, order or purchase a knife from me. So all the knives are sold except my first three knives that I made. Those are not for sale. Uh, at this moment I only sell only to US residents. If you, if you live outside of US I'm not even gonna bother to ship it out there because I do not know your laws. I have been contacted by a guy from Australia who wanted me to make him a knife and then we find out that I need a license to sell in Australia. Same thing goes with Canada so the knife that I made for the British infantry soldier, I shipped it to him. I haven't heard from him since, ever since. I got paid, so that's good. But I haven't heard from him if he received it or not. I hope he's still alive and well. So, I only sell knives that I make and post on videos on YouTube. So, if you see a knife on YouTube, that means that's the only one that's been ever made and I don't have a second copy of it, you know. And most of them do get sold before I even make them. And I sell them to close friends or uh, family. All right, um, just wanna say thank you all for uh, comments, compliments, I do read them all. As you noticed, I am not answering all of your comments because, well, let's put it this way, when I posted the video, the CSGO Bowie, the two-part video, in one day I answered 800 comments and it's over overwhelming and it take, took me about three or four hours to answer all of them. So I'm just going to answer only questions and if, if you guys put an effort into your comment, then I'll answer your comment. Or reply to your comment but other than that I'm just gonna try to answer your questions and leave the spare time that I have to work on the night all right well take care guys I'll see you soon bye